What is up, TBU fans? And of course, welcome to this team analysis from your truly, the Viking Render. And it's been some time since I record. Yeah, the TBU tone was totally wasted on this Black Knight nonsense from Monty Python. I, I feel such a shame. I was exchanged by these British fools, and now I'm facing a British fool. So, uh, it's scary. It's scary indeed. Now we are fending off against actually a quite impressive team. It's impressive considering that he was actually not satisfied with his team. Who would know? Anyway, the Bristol Beetle for Ashton Racker is one the one we're facing. I'm feeling confident in this game. So confident that actually brought D5 this time on Scissor. Yeah, we're not making that mistake again. We're not. <laughs> so anyway, his team is as follows. Megalteria, Septos, Milotic, Reuniclus, Fortress, Palospine, Amungus, which was benched or unbenched for his Molly, Chandelure, and Lightpod. So actually, it's a, it's a tough team. So with Hitmolee gone, things got easier. It actually did. He actually wanted Among Us, and while that did change some for my team, I still had a pretty solid team already ready, and my adjustments weren't really that broad. So with that said, let's see what I brought. First off, Drapion. Really good for this matchup. I'm feeling really confident that's gonna work no matter what it brings. Uh, it's fast now to have speed. A lot of his team actually outside, of course, Septos and Lightpod. And of course, that monster that is Megalteria if it gets one plus one. Basically. Hmm. Not very likely, though. Not very likely. I'm fast enough to outspeed Chandler and Megalteria if they're not speedy. Or, not speedy. <laughs> What do you call him? I'm sorry, I'm screwing this up. <laughs> um, Tau speed and without a port of plus one. And outside of that, uh, a lot of bulk and a bit of attack. Basically, I have enough investment to uh, make sure that the knockoff kills the Chandelure. Outside of that, we should knock off Poison Jab, Taunt for Fortress, and of course, Sword Stance for his Amoongus, because they do have safety goggles. Feeling confident I can use that to my advantage. Next one up, Scissor. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, the defogger. Yeah, we're not bringing Dolphins to this matchup because of Palace Pond. Yes, Palace Pond kind of screws things up for us. So I have U turn Bullet Punch. Was considered knockoff over U turn, but after some testing, U turn is better because Sapdos will always come in. Now, yeah, so that we have Defogger Roost. Standard stuff, Max Attack, Adamant, Max Speech. Uh, and should be able to actually 1 KO. It's <laughs> on Mega Altair, actually. So that's, that's his problem. Next one up, Guard of War. Now, what's considering actually Scarf? We're going with Timid Max Speed. And while that is a bit of a mixed bag, really, uh, I can't see the, the problem of actually using this. As Move Blast, Psychic, Shadow Ball, and Coal Mind were able to set up against a few monks. And yeah, I have Cassie Berry to take any hit from uh, the Chandelure, Retaliate, and probably kill it with Shadow Ball. Uh, what's considering, like I said, was considering being modest scarves, but for this matchup, it might just not work. And I can't deal with might just not work. I just, I can't. Uh, there are so many, too many factors that can wall me with Psyshock, and I'm not feeling confident that I can use that to my advantage. Uh, next one up, Thunderous. Oh, Thunderbolt, Focus Blast, Left Wave, and Hidden Power Air um, Flying. Pretty standard, modest, baby without speed, the likes of Chandelure and Alteria. We can outspeed Zapdos, but lose too much power. So Zapdos will be faster, and if he has a speedier variant, then uh, uh, he can KO me anyway, which means Modest um, Thunderous actually kind of kills it. So, yeah. That's a toughie, Eric, isn't it? That's a toughie. Next one up, Volcanion. The Volcanion for this matchup, while not a perfect mon, it still walls a lot of mons. Now, I'm considering me Altaria to either be specially oriented, and if it is that, then it can't touch me. If it's physical oriented, that means other mons I have can't be touched. That, that's not the right word, but the likes of Sister can barely be touched. It could be mixed with Roost. Um, so I think he has some things to debate here whether we want to use it. Now I have Steam Eruption, Flamethrower, Toxic Substitute. I am able to actually sub substitute against the likes of Amoongus and Milotic without any hassle. He can't break those subs. And I can be able to retaliate. I would choose Flamethrower or Fire Blast. Even though I know that Fire Blast kills Among Us, it is a risk. I'm not much for risks, and Reuniclus is a mod that can't set up against us. Now, we could go with Toxic for a lot of mods. 
I'm expecting him to be Magikardo in this mode. I really do. And the last one is Heracross. And Jolly Guts. Uh, same thing there. Able to have speed the likes of uh, Chandelure. Uh, the base 80, basically. Um, because I really can't outspeed Riss. Like, he. <laughs> I can't outspeed Zapdos anyway outside of one man there, and the light part is is winning this. It's winning this no matter what. It's gonna outspeed me no matter what. Uh, we have Mega Horn, Close Combat, Stone Edge, Sword Stance. Perfect coverage for this matchup, and Aka Berry in case the Chandler wanna go for Flamethrower, but also with these Hidden Power Fires or Heat Waves from the Zapdos. That could happen. That That's a factor. Uh, but yeah, with all that said, that's the team, and now I'm gonna leave you guys with, of course, the mightier guy, the calmer guy, and a guy with the issues. And for you, Eric, piss off, tea drinker. Uh -huh. So yeah, that's the set, guys. And um, yeah, nothing really more to it. Uh, against Eric himself, I'm actually feeling a bit, uh, well, not stressed out, but uh, I guess you should say that he has a tough team. Uh, I really like playing a game where I can overpower my opponent with, of course, the likes of Scarves or Specs, if Choice Band, you know, keep the pressure up. I can't do that with Eric's team because his team has a very, very good bulk into it. While he can hit hard, that's not the purpose of his team. It's actually more of a bulkier team with offensive mons, with our bulky offense, and it's kind of hard to deal with. Um, I know how Eric plays, but this time I actually don't have the mons to break him apart. Now, obviously, I was considering Frostlass for the longest time, but I can't really go in with too many mons weak to rocks with the likes of Fortress. It's just, I can't do that. It's, it's not gonna work. Um, while it would pressure him a whole lot, I still would believe that in the end I will fall short. And uh, Mega Scepter kind of falls in between that too. Mega Scepter is a good mon, but it's completely shut down by Alteria. And the only perk I have with Scepter is that hopefully I can force him to bring a Jolly set. But outside of that, Scepter is kind of. Oh, it's not good enough. I really was considered a physical set to be able to deal with. Well, most of his mobs, neither Maloric or Chandelure, really like to deal with Sceptile. And that's a good thing. But, like I said, I become set up fodder for his Megalteria, which in the end will turn out to be quite a terrifying mon to be dealing with in this kind of matchup. I also was considering Scuff the uh, Drapion. What it would have been nice at the same time, I do consider that I need to be flexible. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Zapdos is gonna be super annoying to deal with. Lifer is gonna be super annoying to deal with. But uh, I hope in the end that I can kind of prevail. But at the same time, like I said, that this is gonna be a tough game, and this is gonna be a game I actually need to win. Um, because if I don't win this match, I believe uh, getting to a playoff will be well close to impossible. Actually, to be honest. But yeah, with that said, um, things I'm predicting him to bring against me. Among Us is there, Mylodic, Zapdos, uh, Megalteria, of course. And then it's between whether or not he comes with Lightheart. He will bring Fortress too. But yeah, Lightheart has to come. I kind of feel that that's, that is a mod that could be annoying for me in the long run. But at the same time, I wouldn't mind if it brought Reuniclus. And Palos one also makes sense. Uh, and then we have Chandelure. Chandelure could work too. But yeah, definitely Megalteria, Zapdos, Melodic, uh, Fortress, Among Us gonna come. And uh, the rest is basically up to him. I would see him definitely not to bring or bring in Chandelure of Life for this matchup uh, because of my, um, my Guard of War. But um, yeah, he has a tough call to make. He actually has a really tough call to make. And uh, when it comes to his Reuniclus, I'm, I'm not fearing it. I'm not fearing it that much. I know Guard War, while it can hit me super effectively, I should be able to deal with it. <sighs> Mostly because I get more special defense by setting up than he does, but if he Life Orb, he's gonna break me apart in the long run, so that, that's an issue. Um, but yeah, I basically have to, with Scissor, hope that he isn't able to set up. Uh, I have to hope with uh, the likes of uh, Scissor to. Uh, uh, knock out Megalteria if things go well sour. But yeah, this is going to be a, a tough game and I really can't tell you guys much more. It all depends on the things he'll bring. The only thing I can say for sure is that it doesn't matter how hard they want to hit me because I have no intention of losing this match whatsoever because this is probably one of the few times that I actually need to win a game. Um, 
And it's too bad it is against Eric because he's a very, very powerful trainer. Uh, should have stepped off my game two weeks ago, really. But uh, I feel it, it's a good thing you know, I turn things around against probably the strongest opponent I can see in this in this uh, in this league. Um, but yeah, outside of that, you know, Eric, good luck, have fun, and may the best man win. Basically, let's see if you turn out to be the Black Knight or if you actually just get your legs chopped off and run away. Uh, right, I'll be the one running away. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> thank you everyone for watching, of course, and well, I see you next video. Until then, take care.